I don't think that that's the situation here. Um, uh, you know, there are also arguments that have been made that you're taking away local control of your public schools by having this amendment in place. But uh, two counterpoints there is that you can only have 20 of these schools come under the Opportunity School District a year. That's a very small number. We've got well over 1,000 public schools, uh, maybe over 2,000 within the entire state. And on an aggregate basis, you can only have a, a, an aggregate of 100 schools in the entire state that are so failing uh, and have proved that over at least a three-year period. Um, so those are very small numbers that would, would be impacted by the Opportunity School District. The, uh, another factor which some opponents have argued uh, is losing local control of your schools is um, that it, it will be run by a statewide school district. But if you look at the budgets uh, for, just as an example, our two local school systems, um, I believe that two-thirds of the budget of our Lowndes County school system comes uh, from uh, state dollars along with the very detailed rules and regulations that have to be followed in spending those state dollars. Um, for our Valdosta City school system, about 56% of its budget comes from statewide dollars, uh, state supplied dollars, also with the very detailed spending and usage requirements that come along with that. So while we're very fortunate to have locally elected school boards, I, I think it's a misdirection to say that this amendment will, will uh, result in a loss of that. Um, that's running through my, my uh, uh, rendition of the Opportunity School District proposal and why I'm in favor of it for the kids in Georgia that are in these comparatively few uh, under, underperforming and failing, failing schools. Uh, any questions? No, I have a question. Uh, um, Bill? coming from state funding. Um, that's from the budgets uh, from their websites a couple of days ago. Um, I think the extent to which those dollars might be lost or redirected, it's going to depend on which of the, the fixes that the Opportunity School District felt like was the best to bring to bear for the, the particular uh, school that uh, is is classified as failing and, and the, the district is trying to help. Um, that's not a, a specific response to your question because I think it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. John? That was part of my question is what happens to the funding of the local school system if the state comes in and takes control. Um, the second is you say that the state can only control 20 schools and I wonder why there's a, a gap on what if there were well, 50 schools? Let me clarify that number. The state can only take into the Opportunity School District 20 failing schools per year. But the second cap is an aggregate cap, John, that they can only have a total of 100 schools within the Opportunity School District at any one time. So, so as schools progress and they they get healthy again, they go back to the original school district. Is that correct? Um, if, if things progress the way that that um, we would all want them to, and I believe that a failing school can only stay within the Opportunity School District for a total of 10 years. Ron? Do, do you know uh, offhand how many uh, schools in the state now uh, have the three Fs that would cause them to be under that supervision, and are any of them around here? Um, 
I'm not aware that there are any in Lowndes County in the city of Valdosta. I don't have the data as to what they may be um, uh, over the entire state. Uh, anecdotally, I know that there are a number, number is relative, uh, up in the Atlanta metro area, particularly within the city of Atlanta public school system. Uh, there's a correlation between um, those schools being in, in um, very challenged socioeconomic areas, and uh, I, I think that uh, Atlanta is going to have several that could be brought into the program. Um, the new superintendent with the city of Atlanta public schools uh, has been brought in after the, the uh, test cheating scandal up there that was so tragic. Uh, she's already bringing in some management and, and consulting power to try and figure out now what needs to be done to lift up the performance of the schools in her district that might otherwise be quite as failing. Well, I don't know about the surrounding areas, Audrey. I'm not aware that there are any in Moultrie. I looked um, at <coughs> the, the stats on it, the immediate area and the close proximity of the yeah. um, In this amendment to the Constitution, does it specify the criteria by which the schools are measured? And does the school that's being measured have 100% control over all those criteria? Um, well, I think you've asked several different questions there, Jim. Let me try and take them in order. The amendment itself does not specify the particular criteria. The, the changes to the state uh, statutes does specify that it's going to be the, the measurement will be the state accountability standards which is developed by the State Department of Education. But that's not it. It doesn't you know, provide that verbiage in the amendment. The amendment is to the Constitution. And I don't think you would have a constitutional amendment that would go into that. No, other with, on the implementation side, to the rules, you know, the, the, sorry, the implementation part would come from the Department of Education. That would, based on the, the criteria that's used for state accountability standards. If I'm understanding correctly, this is going to be on the ballot in November of 16th. Oh, so, okay. so we. Well, I'm just spoken. I apologize. Am I correct? I thought it was this November. No, no, it's November of 16th. I've seen some conflicting information. Oh, yeah. But be your first statewide election in 16. Well, yeah, it's probably just going to be the first statewide election. Which is uh, perhaps a, a year to try to make sure we can. I think we are lucky that at least based on the, the data available today, we don't seem to have any schools in our immediate area that are not in the Lowndes County City of Valdosta. I believe the city of Valdosta had one school that failed one year, but not three consecutive years. Is that correct, Audrey? Yeah, it has to be three years in a row of getting uh, the family party. Any more questions for Tom? Tom, thank you very much. Thank you all.